Hey guys, it is Brado here, and I've got an NHL 13 how to video regarding putting goal horns, intros, and all like of the music into NHL 13. What you're going to need for this is you're going to need a USB drive to transfer all your files you're going to be downloading. Um, you're going to want to make an NHL 13 little file inside of that. And on top of that, you're going to need WinRAR as well to extract these files from the internet. So these are the basic things that you're going to need. This is a PS3 tutorial only, I don't have the 360 version. Uh, the information on how to do that is on the website here, as you can see. But we're just going to do this one right here, and we get the info from Cycloniac's page on uh, Operation Sports. As you can see, just put Cycloniac's NHL 13 Music Pack into Google, and I'll get you right to the place you want to be. So here's the whole list of stuff. There's actually instructions here as well, so if you get a loss, you can ask me in the comments. Also, you know, for 360 users, it's right there as well, as you can see, along with PS3 instructions. Um, but this is going to give you a little bit of an idea for the PS3 users, just exactly what you want to do with this. Um, so here's all the stuff you can use, there's plenty of choices, I've already downloaded most of it, but we're going to go with uh, the Win Cup one right now. Essentially you just go to the option, you download it there, and uh, once it starts downloading, it will download in your corner on the bottom of the screen. Then you're going to want to shrink your uh, window a little bit, and then you're going to drag your file into your USB. Um, so yeah, essentially it's pretty simple on the computer. You just want to make sure you have WinRAR or else the files won't be, um, you won't be able to extract them essentially, because now we have this as an open file on WinRAR. We're going to close, like, or sorry, minimize, like I said. And then we're going to shrink this one here so we can move it into the other file right here. We're going to skip ahead to when we actually go inside here. I've already put it in. Uh, but you just drag it essentially into the folder. And then once you drop it in there, it'll just extract. In my case, I already have it in there. So uh, we'll leave it as is. But you can see here as well, there's the, the break and play music. All these ones have options. Um, so you got pretty much everything you need. The only thing I've actually not put in the game for myself is the power play music, which actually is a lot of fun, you know, playing in San Jose. You know, when they go on the power play, you got da -na, da -na, Jaws theme going on. It's pretty cool, along with other teams as well. Some uh, interesting stuff to use, and it just, to me, makes the game a lot more fun. So we're going to jump into the actual PS3 menu here, and before we go into NHL 13, we're going to move over um, to the music area of the section, where you'll see your USB device right there. Now when you click on it, it's going to say there's nothing there, um, which isn't true. What you need to do is you need to go back, and then what you're going to press is you're going to press triangle. And by pressing triangle, you can display all the items. We're going to go into NHL 13 audio, and we're going to press triangle once again, once we get to the break and play here, and choose copy multiple. And by copying multiple, we'll be able to copy all the info that we have right here, so it's in our uh, PS3 rather than just on the USB. If you leave it on the USB, it will not uh, go through. You won't be able to put your stuff on. It needs to be on your hard drive. So you can see, you know, it is a little bit big, but not too big. Usually, you know, most people have relatively big hard drives, so this isn't that big to deal with. And, you know, if you ever want to get rid of it, you can just delete it. Um, but, yeah, once it downloads, what we're going to do after that is we're going to separate it so that we can use it specifically in the certain sections of the, the screens on NHL 13. So for the purposes of time, we speed this up just a little bit so you guys can um, keep the, we can keep the videos short essentially and uh, not leave you looking at a loading screen for a couple minutes. Once we're done this part here, we're going to add one more thing before we go into NHL 13, and that's going to be making a playlist for the break and play music. The reason for this is because the break and play music is uh, the music that plays in any stoppage of the play. And we want it to be a uh, essential playlist, we don't want it just to be one song. If it's one song, it's one song that keeps playing again and again and again. That doesn't sound good and it'll drive you crazy. If you make it into a playlist, then you have 163 songs to choose from. You could add the unknown songs if there's any extra ones in there, but obviously just a simple way to do that and you have a whole playlist for all your music for the break and play stuff. So now we're going to go into uh, my NHL 13 to get this uh, to the point where we're actually putting it in the game and EA Sports Media. Uh, once you're there, you're going to go into custom music. We've already added it for pretty much all the teams, but we're going to go into the Anaheim Ducks here. Now um, we're going to go into home team intro first and we're going to select song. And the reason for this is we're choosing a single song for a single team. And uh, it takes a little bit to look for the songs. What I recommend is you guys uh, just put them in by themselves. Uh, choose a home team intro first, then put that in onto your hard drive. Then it's easy to look for them. Then put the goal horn in afterwards. Or, you know, go in that type of order where you're not looking through, you know, waves and waves of music that's all mixed around. Because unfortunately, there's no real way uh, to separate them and make it easier for yourself unless you make a bunch of different folders for them, essentially. Um, so once we find this, we're going to set it up and we're going to choose apply to team. We're not going to cho uh, choose apply to all teams. The reason for this is because we only want it for the single team, we don't want it for all the teams. And the other one here that I already did was a home goal horn. You want to choose home goal horn, not home goal, because you want the horn in the game and the goal song as well. Once that's done, then you have the, the horn that plays that, uh, is the authentic horn, and then the music that plays that's the authentic music to the team. Lastly, we're going to add the, the break and play music. 
We're going to select playlists like I said and apply to all teams. So you only need to do this once and it covers all 30 teams for you and you're done with that. And uh, yeah, once we're all, you know, once everything's in, obviously it's just the basics of it. Once you got everything in, then you can go into the game and you can check out how it sounds. Obviously, there's uh, some stuff that might sound a little bit off and you can actually edit the, the crowd noise, the volume noise, the, you know, uh, commentators if you have them on and make it sound good to the way you want it. Uh, here though, I'll let you guys listen to essentially what it sounds and I'll come back in a second and we'll wrap up this video. So as you can hear guys, the intro sounds pretty cool. That's the end of this video though, as we leave you with one uh, goal and the goal horn uh, there playing in the background. If you have any questions regarding the setup of this, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get right to it, answering uh, anything that you have uh, regarding problems with setting up uh, this on the PS3. Um, but yeah, no, hopefully you guys enjoy this because for me it adds a lot of uh, a lot more fun to the game, another layer uh, of authenticity. Um, but yeah, this is the end of this video though. I uh, hope you enjoyed and hope this helped uh, getting you guys set up with your music. Cheers.